Today we conclude the string manipulation series. It's three videos, uh, the two previous to this and this one. And we'll probably get back to string manipulation because there's a lot to it. But for now, there's just these first three videos. And the methods we're going to talk about in this video are index of, starts with, and trim. And the basic goal of this is to remove comments from the uh, parameter file that we've been working with in the previous video. And since basically this is not only not going to display anything, it's going to consciously try, try and remove anything being displayed. The only real, real way to see what's going on is to use the debugger and actually step through the code and look at what's happening to variables as we step through the code. So once again we're using the form we used previously which is the read and parse parameter file form and it has a multi-line uh, text box and a button that says parse parameter file and if we look at the code uh, specifically behind the parse parameter file button double click on it and go to the event handler I simply have a line that clears the uh, text box and then a call to a second layer uh, function called read, par read parms. And read parms basically just loops through the parameter file and uh, reads it in a line at a time with this line here. And then has a while loop which says if that line isn't null, call a third layer uh, function called parse line using the line as a parameter and then of course you read in the next line and go to the top of the while loop until we do hit null and the end of the file so the parse line is where we've added the code uh, we have about I don't know four or five lines of code that basically deals with the parameter with comments being in the parameter file and these comments follow the C convention of using slash slash and there's two flavors of comments there's a, a line that starts with slash slash which is a whole line comment and then there's slash slash somewhere within the line which uh, basically is a comment after a, a keyword value pair which describes something about the keyword value pair I think this will become more clear if we look at the actual parameter file. Here's the actual parameter file we're dealing with and the first line is a whole line comment. It starts with a slash slash and it says Superman first published in Action Comics issue 1 in 1938. And then on the second line we have an example of the second type of comment which is after the keyword parameter pair we have a slash slash and then we have a comment usually that's talking about this line you know so the inspiration for my originally allowing comments in the parameter file is that I wanted to use code values in uh, the values and the code values were things like IE and CG and FF and it wasn't exactly clear from the context what those were or what the possibilities were so I put in what possible code values you could use in this type of comment extremely useful so if we look back at the code what we want to do is put the cursor on this line which is the first line of the parse line function and then right click and then go down to uh, breakpoint and do insert breakpoint and you notice it makes the line red and puts a red dot at the in the margin by the line and now if we click the uh, now appropriately named start debugging it'll actually run until we hit this line and then it'll stop running and let us look at the code while it's running so if I click on start debugging the form comes up and if I click on parse param file it goes through the three layers we saw and then stops at the uh, first line of parse line and if we look 
down in the locals pane on the debugger you'll notice what the end line that's being passed to it is is the slash slash superman first published and so on and so i think most of these uh... string manipulation functions are pretty self-explanatory you don't really have to dwell on them if you use the starts with and then have a quotation mark string quotation mark it'll return a true if uh, the line does indeed start with this which it does we just saw that it does so if we do a step which is this a step over F10 or we can just hit F10 to step it moves to the next line which is just a return since we got a true on the line starts with this so basically what's going to happen is it'll, this function will do nothing because it, if it starts with a comment we don't want to do anything we just want to throw the line away so if we click on uh, continue or we could click on F5 to continue running uh, we once again stop when we hit this line in the while loop that's one layer below and this time the line we read in is superman equals clark kent slash slash after the line and a line about Christopher Reeves as the ultimate Superman <coughs> which I think is true and what isn't true though is it doesn't start with slash slash anymore so if we use F10 to step this time it steps over this if and goes to the next if and the next if uses the uh, next uh, string manipulation method we want to look at which is the index of so we have inline the variable name that we were passed dot index of quotation mark slash slash quotation mark not equal to minus one and what you've got to know about index one index of is it returns the index of the character in the string so if it starts with that character it would return a zero and if it was you know fourteen down it would return a well actually a thirteen since it's zero based and it would return some index value but if it's not in the string at all it returns a minus one which means this string doesn't exist in the string we're looking at this substring but it does exist of course so uh, if we do F10 to step it falls into the if and we get the actual value of the index of and we can get that by actually hovering the cursor over the end line we, we just set which is 20 and it's also in the locals down here where it's in red and showing this just got set and then we want to use a uh, substring which we discussed in the first video to copy all of the line from index 0 to index of the end line into the end line variable which is really just a local variable in this function so if we use F10 to step again and look at inline now you see inline has changed and it just says Superman equals Clark Kent but if you look very closely it might be hard to see on YouTube there's actually a space after the uh, Clark Kent which we don't really want because we'll get the wrong value so there could be one space or there could be multiple spaces sometimes people line up these comments so you have like five or ten spaces there so we don't we couldn't just subtract one what we have to do is use a, uh, another string manipulation function called trim and there's actually three variations of trim you can use trim n trim start or just trim and basically trims trims and white spaces uh, in the case of trim end it would trim just the white spaces at the end in the case of trim start it would trim just the white spaces at the beginning in the case of trim it trims white spaces from the beginning or the end so we could have used just trim end but you know what the heck trim doesn't hurt and it might help one of these days so if we continue stepping through with F10 we now see that it'll get the uh, correct string without the comment in it 
So if I come up and put the cursor on this line and now right click and this time go to breakpoint, delete breakpoint so we won't stop anymore and just run all the way through the program. You see we get all the um, correct uh, values that are in token one, you know, that I really described in uh, the previous video without the comments interfering or putting uh, uh, irrelevant data, you know, as a value. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and learned a lot. And don't forget to subscribe.